uh, agency knows that they need to make a contingency plan okay. for black swan events, events that are rare, unlikely, but could make a huge difference. The discovery that changed everything happened by accident. At MIT, a team of scientists fed six months of radio data from a celestial object, 3i Atlas, into a new quantum AI. They expected it to confirm what they already knew. It was just random cosmic static. Instead, within four hours, the AI flagged what it called structural anomalies. The signals weren't noise. They were coded packages of information, a systematic report on Earth's military bases, power grids, and population centers. And the thing nobody tells you is, it had been broadcasting this data for decades. When noise became a warning, Think of it like someone hiding a secret message inside what sounds like random piano notes played over and over. To your ears, it's just noise. But the right kind of AI doesn't just hear the notes. It sees the hidden sheet music, the grand composition buried deep within the chaos. That's exactly what happened with 3i Atlas. Many people were crazy about this new tech, but no one expected what came next. Scientists fed six months of radio data from the object into the system. As one team member later explained, they expected it to confirm what they already believed, that they were hearing random thermal emissions from a lonely chunk of ice and rock hurtling through the void. Instead, the AI began flagging what it termed structural anomalies. At first, they thought it was a bug. The system was supposed to be filtering noise, not finding patterns where none should exist. But when they took a closer look at what the AI had identified, the room fell dead silent. Nobody dared to breathe. The data on the screen shouldn't exist, but there it was. The AI didn't just detect organization in the signals, it decoded them. The most shocking fact is that every single piece of data was layered with complex error correction codes as if the sender knew it couldn't afford a single mistake on its long journey across the void of space. It was like reading chapters in a book someone had written about us. The breakthrough came when the AI stopped treating the signals as a continuous stream and started reading them as discrete packages of information, perfectly timed chunks of data transmitted with a precision that would make a Swiss watchmaker jealous. The system processed everything in just four hours. Four hours to decode six months of what humanity had dismissed as meaningless noise. When they saw the results, they realized they'd been listening to someone else's intelligence reports about Earth. The quantum computing at the heart of the AI allowed it to test millions of decryption possibilities all at once. When it found a consistent structure that worked across every single approach, it flagged the data for human review. What the researchers uncovered forced them to classify everything under the highest security protocols imaginable. What many overlooked is that this wasn't some natural cosmic pulse. This was engineered communication, using techniques far more sophisticated than our own deep space transmissions. And the message it contained was chilling. It revealed 47 distinct information packets, transmitted every 6.2 hours in a continuous repeating cycle. Not a friendly hello, not a mathematical puzzle, but raw intelligence reports. A complete and total assessment of Earth's capabilities, weaknesses, and strategic value. Every light switched on, every secret conversation, every hidden vulnerability someone thought was safe had all been observed, cataloged, and analyzed by an intelligence far beyond our own. But the real terror was in what the probe was doing between messages. Anatomy of a takedown. The first 12 packets of information read like something straight out of a spy thriller. Get this, every major radio transmitter on Earth was mapped and cataloged. Military radar installations, civilian communication hubs, and our entire satellite network, all identified with coordinates so precise they could target individual buildings from millions of miles away. It had a God's eye view of our planet, mapping our power grids, our naval bases, and even top-secret underground facilities that most of the public doesn't even know exist. This probe knew more about our infrastructure than we did, but that, unbelievably, was just the beginning. Packets 13 through 23 contained a population analysis that made census experts go pale with shock. It wasn't just tracking numbers, it was tracking patterns. The flow of traffic in our biggest cities, 
the seasonal migration of entire populations, and economic activity indicators that our own governments don't publish. It was data that would take human analysts years of careful study to compile, and someone or something already had it all. One data packet showed how populations shift during holidays, how traffic patterns change during emergencies, and how people move when their governments tell them to evacuate. The thing nobody tells you is, this is exactly the kind of information you'd need if you wanted to predict or control human behavior on a massive scale. The military assessment packets were even worse. Nuclear weapon storage facilities were identified and classified by their threat level. Our most advanced missile defense systems were analyzed and rated for effectiveness. Command centers and strategic installations were all cataloged like items on a shopping list. An analyst, speaking during a classified briefing, admitted that it found all our weak spots. It pinpointed our power grid vulnerabilities, our internet choke points, and our supply chain dependencies. It had created a perfect roadmap showing how to cause maximum chaos with minimum effort. Think about that. Someone had been studying us like a specimen in a lab, identifying the exact pressure points to make our civilization crumble. But the final packets contained the most disturbing revelation of all, historical data stretching back decades. Communication patterns from the 1990s, timelines of our technological development. This was undeniable proof of systematic observation that began before most of us were even born. We weren't discovering them. They had been watching us grow up. The signal wasn't broadcasting aimlessly, you see. It was targeted, deliberate, like a laser beam pointed at a single spot in the vast darkness. The target appeared to be a precise location, 12.7 light years away, in the direction of the constellation Lyra. A spot in the sky with no known star system, suggesting a technological installation rather than a natural destination. Every 6.2 hours, timed perfectly with its own rotation, the probe sent its report. But the truly unsettling discovery was the pauses. Every few hours, the transmission would stop for exactly 18 minutes. During those gaps, our most sensitive equipment detected faint, almost imperceptible signals coming from deep space in return. 3i Atlas wasn't just sending reports, it was receiving new instructions. And the world's most powerful people were about to find out what those instructions were. When the world held its breath, the implications hit the highest levels of global authority like a lightning strike. In locked rooms and underground bunkers, world leaders whispered while the rest of humanity went on, completely oblivious. Intelligence networks scrambled. Doomsday plans were quietly dusted off. The National Security Agency classified the decoded transmissions at a level reserved for nuclear secrets, and similar orders were issued across allied nations. Within hours, a small circle of officials found themselves managing humanity's first confirmed extraterrestrial intelligence crisis. An NSA official admitted during an emergency congressional briefing that this represented an intelligence compromise of unprecedented scope. A foreign intelligence service had conducted systematic surveillance of our most sensitive capabilities. The fact that this service appears to be non-human doesn't change the security threat. What many overlooked was the sheer absurdity of the situation. Generals and intelligence directors, trained their whole lives to handle human adversaries, were suddenly trying to plan a defense against opponents who had been studying Earth from space for decades, using technology that made our best efforts look like stone tools. Emergency sessions were held in the same underground bunkers designed to survive a nuclear winter. The irony was thick. Facilities built to survive atomic bombs were now hosting discussions about defending against a civilization that could cross the stars. Military commands worldwide received classified updates that fundamentally changed their strategic thinking. How do you defend against an enemy who knows your every weakness, possesses overwhelming technological superiority, and can operate with complete impunity? International cooperation reached levels not seen since the Second World War. Age-old rivalries were put aside as governments realized they faced a threat that made human conflicts seem petty and trivial. Intelligence agencies that had spent decades spying on each other began sharing their most guarded secrets. And all the while, outside those locked rooms, life went on. People went to work, watched movies, and worried about their bills, completely unaware that their governments were preparing for a scenario straight out of science fiction. Overnight, 
communication security was upgraded across all critical infrastructure. Military networks rolled out new layers of encryption, assuming that everything transmitted electronically was already compromised. Deep underground facilities, originally meant to preserve government continuity, were restocked and staffed, not for atomic survival, but for the survival of the species. Yet all these precautions only highlighted a more terrifying truth. Every weakness we thought was hidden, every secret we thought was safe, had already been seen. They weren't just watching our technology. They were watching our psychology, our social structures, and our likely responses to a crisis. They understood which vulnerabilities to exploit to destabilize our entire society. The clock was ticking, and it was counting down to one final, massive transmission. 36 days to what? 36 days. That was the time frame the world's top analysts calculated, a number that now hangs over humanity like a guillotine. 36 days until the interstellar object known as 3i Atlas would finally exit our solar system. And as it crossed that invisible line, it was expected to send its final, comprehensive report back to its creators. This wasn't a countdown to safety. It was a countdown to a verdict. For 36 agonizing days, every man, woman, and child on Earth would remain under the relentless, silent gaze of an intelligence operating from the chilling darkness between stars. Every plan we made, every hurried decision, every catastrophic mistake was being cataloged, analyzed, and transmitted back to entities whose capabilities we couldn't even begin to fathom. You see, for people watching this, you might be wondering if something like this could happen overnight. Could we really be so exposed without knowing it? The terrifying answer is yes. The data suggests this has been going on for a long, long time. We were simply the last to know. Think about it. How many strange events in our history have gone unexplained? How many times have we looked to the stars and felt a sense of being watched? We dismissed it as paranoia, as myth. But what if it was all part of the observation? What if our entire history from the first fires lit by our ancestors to the splitting of the atom, has been recorded. We are missing a key detail, perhaps the most important one, their motive, and the clock is ticking. Deep space monitoring stations, our frontline observers, detected something that made every seasoned operator's blood run cold. Electromagnetic readings from 3I Atlas began to spike in a way they had never seen before. The energy signature suggested it was preparing for a transmission of immense power, an event that would dwarf every single intelligence report it had previously sent. This silent messenger was powering up for its grand finale. An operator at the Goldstone Deep Space Communications Complex reported that the object was activating systems that had been completely dormant throughout the entire observation period, systems we didn't even know it had. Whatever it was preparing to transmit would require more energy than a small star. This wasn't going to be just another status update. This was something on a scale they could barely quantify. Was it a complete map of our planetary defenses? A full genetic breakdown of every species on Earth? Or was it something far simpler and far more chilling? A single classification. The final message would tell its masters whether they have classified humanity as a threat to be managed, a resource to be exploited, or simply a curiosity to be studied further. The answer, as one military strategist put it, will determine not just the next decade, but the entire future of our species. So as we stand on this precipice, the question isn't just what the message will say, but what happens after it's sent. The probe has shown us that we are not alone, but it has also shown us that we are completely, utterly exposed. We've gone from believing we might one day discover aliens to the horrifying realization that they've been studying us like laboratory specimens for centuries. This wasn't alien contact as we imagined it in our movies and books. The 36 days are almost up. Was this whole thing a warning or was it a prelude to something we can't even imagine? Let us know your thoughts below. Like and subscribe.